Welcome to PC Woods Kids Tech Talk. Today I wanted to quickly go through the Windows 7 release candidate installation. Okay, so this is very brief. For those of you who have gone ahead and installed the uh, Windows 7 already, then you might have seen these screens, but for those that are thinking about it, burn it to DVD once you get the ISO image and boot up your machine with that DVD. That's the way to install it. Now whether you want to upgrade or install it side by side with another OS or fresh, it's up to you. I installed it brand new fresh on an empty drive, 500 gig drive. I went through the setup and then I chose the custom advanced option here. And then I said, okay, on my 500 gig, I want to split it into two. So I created two new partitions and then I set 250 gigs each roughly in, in space. And I installed Windows 7 on the first primary partition that was 250 gigs and then went through the installation setup process screens here okay now once I was done then obviously it booted into um, release candidate uh, of Windows 7 which is still a work in progress it's not the final so on the bottom right corner it will say build uh, 7100 right just uh, keep that in mind it will expire so this is uh, a temporary full version of Windows 7 and uh, on June 1st 2010 it will expire okay so it will be no more so um, you'll have until then to use this uh, now there are differences of course from the previous release of Windows 7 it is obviously much faster smoother I did notice that um, there's a few other things to mention but I'll go through that in a separate video this video specifically you know to let you know that build 7100 is the, the release candidate Okay, so don't get confused when you see that. That is indeed the release candidate. And um, the way that I've set up my disks are straightforward. In my case, I just have two disks. So if you go into your admin tools or your manage disks in Windows, you'll be able to get to the partitions and then see how they're allocated. In my case, like I said, I have a C and a D, 250 gigs roughly each. And um, on C, I install Windows 7. And on D, well, I can install... Windows Vista or maybe I have Vista already or XP already on that drive or uh, Ubuntu or whatever okay so but the main thing is allocate its own partition its own space okay and then in that in its own space install Windows 7 so if you have an unallocated area then you can format that and um, or split it up and in, into into at least you know uh, 20 gigs or 50 gigs or however much you can afford to install Windows 7 and test it or try it out okay these screens that I'm showing you here from Windows 7 are basically the same screens that you would see in Windows Vista or XP maybe not as flashy but the options are exactly the same okay so when you go to partition your drives in Windows that really hasn't changed it's still the same um, though you're still only partitioning it as NTFS uh, in Windows there is no option for uh, FAT32 in, in Windows 7 and you really don't want to use FAT32 for your large drives anyways so um, that's how I've done it I partitioned it like I said into two and um, if you already have Vista or XP installed then you want to partition uh, it further and do what I suggested install Windows 7 on a separate partition and then uh, you'll get the uh, Windows boot uh, loader uh, that will um, allow you to choose if you want to boot to Windows uh, 7 or to um, Vista or XP or whatever it is that you have installed, right? So if you have Ubuntu, then Ubuntu, uh, when you install it, has its own bootloader, for example, right? So anyways, um, these are the screens for basically partitioning your drive. And uh, it's straightforward. You just right-click on the partition and you choose the option to create a new partition and format it and it does it for you just takes a few few minutes to complete the uh, the whole process okay so once you have everything set up then um, and planned then you can go ahead and install uh, uh, Windows 7 in my case uh, it's just a test PC I have nothing critical here to back up so uh, I went ahead and just blowed things away and just installed it quickly for you guys okay so that's basically the video and uh, I hope you enjoyed it and thank you for watching